everyone, and welcome to Watch Me Video for Lighting Design Class, Week 9. If you remember, the purpose of these videos is to look back at what we did last week, look to the things that we should be looking at or working on for this week, and then look ahead to some things that we might need to prepare for for next week. So what did we do last week? Well, in Week 8, we did a field trip with Lanny. And one of the things that I did uh, during our synchronous class time was to go to the Nelda K. Baltz Playhouse, into the catwalks, and then onto the stage level, and try to show you, the student, the perspective of where the lighting equipment exists and actually functions in the playhouse. And then I went on to the stage deck, and because we had a lot of atmospheric haze in the air, was able to show you what different beam spreads do upon the stage floor. And if you recall, I said that if you, uh, if you work about two catwalks back and use a 26 degree ellipsoidal um, at about a 30 to 40 degree angle coming into the stage, that's a really great place for light. Remember, you don't actually need to write that down and remember that because I'm going to show you the rep I'm going to send to you the repertory light plot of the Nelda K. Baltz Playhouse. Um, so you can see that. But hopefully that was kind of a fun day because you were able to see what different beams of light do in the space on the stage floor. So a 19 degree light, you know, made a six foot circle uh, and a 26 degree light made a 11 foot circle, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you got to see kind of what those look like. Um, so hopefully that'll be helpful to you as you think to your final exam project on using different kinds of lights in order to create different effects. Okay, that's what we did last week. What are we working on uh, for this week? Well, this week during our synchronous class time, I'm gonna talk about, I have on the syllabus play analysis. We're gonna talk about play analysis. I hope that you can bring to the class some of your ideas about what you're thinking about for the plays that you're selecting for your final project. The second thing that uh, we should be working on for this week is I want you to select what play you're actually going to use for your final exam this week. Okay, um, and uh, and then oh, and uh, the the like a visual morgue for that. So we're going to talk about what is a visual morgue, how does that work, how do we think about a play. We're going to do all that during our synchronous class time on Tuesday. Okay, and that should help you prepare for the assignment that you have due this week. And then in week ten, I have our perfect is good portfolio examples during our synchronous class time, and then uh, your final production response for our K production. Uh, is also due. Not said uh, previously, but I just want to let you know I am beginning to catch up to grading all of the homework that you've submitted because I got your light kits to you late in the class and because then we kind of delayed getting all of those projects done and they've been trickling in. Thank you so much for your work. Um, I'm just now beginning the process of getting to the, some of that work that you've submitted and then uh, 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 grading that. So I just want to let you know that I'm in process of doing all of that um, and thank you for your patience. So that's anyway, uh, the watch me video for this week. I hope you're all doing well and I look forward to meeting you during our synchronous class time tomorrow. See you soon.